Hello there, my name is Jaakko. This is a follow-up video on my recent V-Ray materials tutorial on how to export Substance Painter materials to V-Ray. So I actually contacted uh, Chaos Group uh, and asked them like specifically what is the most physically accurate way to export uh, materials from Painter to V-Ray and they replied. So uh, I'm gonna follow up their uh, uh, guide on how to get things working. So I have this hospital bed model that I created recently in 3ds Max and as you can see there's uh, some materials in here that use metallic stuff and the way that uh, Chaos Group uh, uh, ad uh, advised to do this is to actually just go on and use the metal roughness workflow and export metal roughness texture. So what I did is that I created uh, this using the metal roughness uh, uh, template and then in the export settings I just exported PPR metal rough. So this is a standard metal rough stuff, nothing special. I'm using base color roughness, metallic, normal and these other, I don't actually use height or MEC, but it's just normal and those. So I was able to get something look pretty much similar that what I'm seeing in the painter. So the key elements here are using diffuse and bump and then uh, this uh, roughness which I'm gonna get in a minute why it's connected in here is still a little bit unclear to me but then the, the idea is that we use the metalness so most important settings that we need to set is to put this reflect value to uh, near white or white and then uh, use Fresnel reflections make sure that this is checked and then in the PRDF uh, settings use a roughness. So then just plug in those maps. But uh, for my surprise, I was going to plug the roughness map to this roughness slot in here. But uh, if I'm just gonna connect this node to here, it's not going to recognize it. So what I ended up doing, I was going to here to this, uh, this node, this V-Ray material node, and then click this and then select the roughness from here and then again I'm using UDIMs, UDIM tiles so I'm uh, uh, replacing the number of the texture set by using this uh, tag, UDIM tag. This will automatically assign the correct UDIM tiles. So again this is one way that we can use the V-Ray HDRI node. So I was able to do that but then, for my surprise, it uh, automatically connects it the reflection clauses, not to the roughness, which is counterintuitive. And I ask, I ask about this to Chaos Group, and I actually ask them why, it's, why this happens. This doesn't make much sense, to be honest, but it seems to work just fine. I mean, it maybe uh, deals this, uh, it, it sort of uh, handles roughness as reflect, uh, reflective glossiness and then it somehow inverts that because it does indeed seem to be correct this is what at least to my eyes this is uh, uh, correct values the roughness is behaving correctly here so the other thing that chaos group mentioned in their email was the gamma settings and for any non-color maps just go and use color space type none and that will disable the gamma and make it work as a linear map so so only the diffuse map should have a gamma which is I'm just using the color space from max and then in the max settings make sure that you have 2.2 the standard gamma setting enabled so then it's taking the color space and making it synchronized with the max settings so that's the uh, only for the color map use uh, color space and for every other a monochrome map uh, or the linear maps just make sure that you use uh, color space none for example like the in metallic here I'm just gonna use color space none and that makes sure that your maps work uh, exactly accurately in V-Ray settings. So the question I had was what to do for Fresnel reflections for metal because normally the metallic Fresnel is considered a little different than from uh, the electric uh, Fresnel because the, uh, normally you don't really see Fresnel in metallic surfaces and the calculation is way different. 
So uh, Chaos Group just said, just keep this uh, uh, turn on and then use metal metallic uh, maps and then automatically uh, this shader should calculate everything correctly. And to my eyes, again, it seems to be working fine. I mean, metal looks like metal here. Those That bolt, for example, is metal and that worn paint here is metal. So at least for me, this seems to be working uh, correctly this should be a physically accurate model so from now on I guess I will be just using a metal roughness workflow for V-Ray materials when I'm exporting from Substance Painter I hope this is useful to someone out there and if you have any comments or any any ideas you have please just leave the comments so this was Jaakko I hope to see you in the next video bye bye